I hear this story so much. Mom's on hospice. She's in pain. Hospice came in. They gave her doses of morphine. And 20 minutes later, mom's dead. Hospice killed mom. I hear this a lot. And what I have to say to you is mom didn't die from an overdose given to her by hospice. I don't even have to know mom's diagnosis to know that hospice did not kill her by giving her the morphine. And the reason and the way I know is the time involved. If mom was 20 minutes from death, nothing in her body worked right. The blood isn't circulating, her lungs aren't breathing properly, nothing works right. And I don't care how they gave the morphine. It did not have time to get into a bloodstream and a blood flow that is shutting down. So if they gave it in her mouth and in her cheek, probably still there. If they gave it to her in her rectum, which is what you can do if you can't give, you aren't going to put a pill in someone's mouth uh, or a lot of liquid in someone's mouth if they're not responsive. But anything you can put in someone's mouth, you can put in their rectum. But if she died 20 minutes or even an hour or two hours later, the morphine did not kill her because the circulation, it, and you probably cannot even get a blood pressure at that point. So that morphine is wherever you put it in, whether it's in the cheek, whether it's in the rectum, um, the morphine did not kill mom. And that's because we don't understand morphine. We don't understand narcotics. You know, we, on the news, you hear constantly about the opioid epidemic. Opioids are frontline news. And so we hear about all these overdoses and overdosing and we think, yeah, you know, mom got morphine and it killed her just like it's killing everyone else in the country. And the difference is taking a narcotic in a healthy body is entirely different than taking a narcotic in a body that's shutting down and isn't working properly. That's the difference. So knowledge reduces fear and knowledge is so important in end of life pain management. And that's up to hospice, that's up to the physicians, that's up to the nurses in the nursing facility or the nurses in the hospital to explain I'm giving mom this narcotic and it's going to relieve pain, maybe. It's going to depend upon how close to dying mom is. Education. Knowledge reduces fear and knowledge reduces misunderstanding. And it is up to us, the medical professionals, to teach, to educate, and to guide the community about end-of-life pain management.